Hello guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Now today it's another episode in my Football Manager save with Luton Town. And just like always, a lot of things have happened since I last spoke to you guys. Recently, I've been putting like the results from my save on the community tab on YouTube. So you guys get to see like the results before I actually upload the video. As you can see, it's quite tight down at the bottom in the championship. Like not many points separate like the bottom like eight teams. So hopefully in this episode we can obviously gain some points. In the last episode, I left you guys in our home draw against Sheffield Wednesday in the FA Cup. We lost the replay. We lost on penalties. O'Kane scored in the last minute off the game to take us to penalties, but we just didn't do well in the penalty shootout. The next game at home, we got a 2 all draw at home to Birmingham. We conceded in the last minute, and I was so disappointed, but we got a home draw. We then got a very good away win to Nottingham Forest. Nottingham Forest are down there guys so this was a very important game to obviously win and we won 3-1. Elliot Lee and Maya with the goals. The next game we lost 1-0 to Derby. To be fair we were quite unlucky against Derby but we ended up getting that 1-0 home defeat. The next game was a very good away draw to West Brom guys. And as you can see, Collins scored the penalty. The game after West Brom, we played Cardiff at home where we won 2-1. Elliot Lee and Izzy Brown with the goals. And then the week after, we did lose against Sheffield Wednesday. I think it was just a bad day at the office for us. But as you can see, guys, two wins, two draws and two losses. But more importantly, what tactics and formations am I using to get two wins, two draws and two losses? Well, guys, I changed it up again. And I am now using the 442 diamond formation. Now, I proper looked into the tactics and I looked into the squad. According to Football Manager, Luton have four championship players James Collins, Izzy Brown, Pelly, and Matthew. These four players have to play. In order for us to get any results, we need our four best players in the team. So for me, this is the perfect formation for us to play as it features all four players. If we just quickly look at the medical centre, we've got um, Jave, who's out injured, Atonito, Glenray and Vickers. But Glenray and Vickers are very close in returning back. So in this episode, we're going to be playing two away games. We're playing Middlesbrough away from home and we're also going to be playing Cholton away from home. Both teams are mid-table in the championship. Can we get some points? Let's find out. So this is the team which I will be playing for the game against Middlesbrough away from home. We've got Sluger in goal, Bree right back, Pearson and Bradley centre-backs, Richards left back, O'Kane in that defensive midfield role, Matthew and Pelly in midfield, Easy as a number 10 and Elliot Lee and Collins up top. Here we go, a tough game against Middlesbrough away from home. Can we get some points? Obviously results have improved in the last six games, but can we keep that up? All right, McNair plays it down on the right-hand side to Spence now. He crosses the ball into the box and Ashley Fletcher makes it 1-0 Munisbrough inside the first five minutes of this game. Great play by McNair to find Spence and obviously poor marking by Bree, well, any defender. And yeah, Munisbrough 1-0 up. All right, Bree on the right-hand side now. Great play by Bradley with the hoof ball. Bree, can you make something? Beats his man, plays it into Elliot Lee, plays it to O'Kane, back to Bree. Can Bree shoot? Off the post. That was so close by Luton. Oh, he came with the ball now. Plays it down to Richards. What can Richards do with the ball? Cuts inside into the box now. Penalty ref. And we get the penalty inside the first 10 minutes of this game. James Collins, can you score? You scored your last one against West Brom away from home. Can you score this one against Middlesbrough? Come on, Collins. Get him. Luton have got a goal back. And obviously, what an exciting 10 minutes this has been so far. Right, Richards with a throw down on the left-hand side. Gives it to Collins. Plays it to Matthew. Matthew back to Bradley. Bradley hoops ball into Elliot Lee, who's managed to get behind the defence. Crosses the ball into the box now. Richards with the header. Just over. Minnesbrough with the corner now. Roberts. Oh, great save by Sluga. That was very close. And I'm Mark player in the box again. All right, Minnesbrough, a corner just before half-time. Heads it over. Right, it's currently half time at the moment. It's been a positive first half by us. Middlesbrough have grew into the game after we scored our goal and obviously testing the keeper a lot more. Right, Middlesbrough with the throwing down on the right hand side now. Ravel plays it to Spence, crosses the ball into the box now. Unmarked at the back post again. Why is Bree not marking anyone? But we do clear it away. But Middlesbrough do hit the post there. Sluga gives it to Bree. To Matthew now. What can Matthew do with the ball? 
hoofs it long to Elliot Lee. Can Elliot Lee score now? Yes, he can. Over the top ball by um, Matthew. Elliot Lee well, obviously gets on the end of it and scores his one-on-one -on -one chance. Elliot Lee's had a really good season so far. Obviously, his sixth goal of the season. Great little move by us. Matthew over the top, as you can see. Elliot Lee beats his man and obviously scores the goal. And Luton are now winning 2-1 in this game against Middlesbrough. Minnesota looks so dangerous down on the right-hand side. And they play the ball into the box to Lucas Nementia. And it's 2-2. Minnesota down on the left-hand side. Don't let them score, guys. Not in the last 10 minutes. Brew with an important challenge. Plays it out long. Gives it to Elliot Lee. He beats his man now. Can we counter? It's 2v1 here. Elliot Lee with the goal. No! Honestly thought that was going to be it. All right, Sluga with the goal kick now. I'm getting scared. We do not deserve to obviously lose this game. So if we can get something out of it, it'd be brilliant. All right, Bree down on the right-hand side. Plays it to Richards. What can Richards do with the ball? Crosses, tries to cross the ball into the box. Loses the ball. Now Middlesbrough, do they counter? or? Oh, man, Pearson should have got there first. Can Pearson win the ball back? Bree, oh, it's actually Bree. Pelly hoops it forward. Middlesbrough clear it out. Oh, this is end-to-end -end stuff. Please do not concede here, Luton. You know, we deserve at least a point away from home to Middlesbrough. Spence crosses the ball into the box. Off the post and well cleared by Bree, but it's been given for offside. Last four minutes of the game now, guys. Can we hold on and get a point? Pearson just hoofs it forward, but just loses the ball too easily. Why? So many players are out of position. That was close. If we conceded there, I would have been so disappointed. And it's full time. Lucky enough, we did not concede there. We created eight opportunities away from home. Yes, Middlesbrough created 20. They are the home side. They are the better side. But the fact that we got on the way point away from home against a really good side is a good result. And we could have easily have got the three points as well, guys. We hit the post. Elliot Lee missed a one-on-one -on -one chance as well. So, guys, we're at the Cholton away game now. And this is the team which I am going to play against Cholton. So, we've got Saluga in goal. James Bree right back. Centre-backs, Pearson and Vickers. Left-back, Richards. In that defensive midfield role, Glenn Ray, Matthew and Pelly in midfield, Izzy Brown as a number 10, and Danny Hilton and James Collins up top. Can we get some points away to Charlton? It's going to be tough. Sluga throws it to Matthew. Matthew plays it down on the right-hand side to James Bree. What can Bree do with the ball now? He's down on the right-hand side. Can you cross the ball into the box now? Loses the ball, but gets it back. Crosses the ball into the box to Collins. And we're now 1-0 against Charlton. What a header. What a goal this is. James Bree, I thought he lost the ball at first. I thought he ruined it. Crosses the ball into the box with his left foot. James Collins with a powerful header. And Luton are one up against Charlton away from home. All right, Sluga with the goal kick now. Can we push on and get that second? Pearson, who's it forward? Loses the ball again. He keeps doing that. We need to stop doing that. All right, Charlton trying to break us down and try to get a goal back themselves. Down on the left-hand side now for Charlton. They cross the ball into the box now. We clear it. Can we keep pushing them on? Got quite a lot of men back now. Literally trying to stop Charlton from creating any chances. Charlton down on the right-hand side now. Matthews with the ball. Richards wins the ball back but loses it again. We head it out now. Charlton trying to keep counter-attacking. Matthew. Oh, God. All right, Bree down on the right-hand side with a throw-in. Gives it to Hilton. He loses the ball out in the air. Are Charlton going to counter-attack now? be a real shame if they do score because we've done all right. Chucks and EK for Charlton now. They've counter-attacked really well. And Charlton are 2-1 up at home. All right, James Bree with a throw down on the right-hand side now. Gives it to Izzy. Back to Bree. What can Bree do? Loses the ball out again. We, why do we keep losing like the, the ball in the attacking third? It's stupid. All right, Charlton looking to counter from us losing the ball in the attacking third. Matthews down on the right hand side, crosses the ball into the box now, gives it to Page. That was close by Charlton. So it's currently half time against Charlton. Now, we were the better team up to our goal, but then as soon as Charlton got their goal back, they've been the better side. So in the second half, we need to create more opportunities. We need to stop them creating these opportunities. And we need to stop losing the ball in the final third because that's what's causing the problems because Charlton are just counter-attacking us. Right, I'm going to take Izzy off again. I don't get it why Izzy never performs well when I record a video. Offline, he's brilliant. Online, not so good. So I'm going to replace him for Maya. 
Matthew Hilton caught it. Oh, how is he offside? Oh, that was the opportunity to score. That's so disappointing. And that's it, guys. That is the end of that game against Charlton. We have lost 2-1 away from home. Collins' goal at the end was obviously ruled out for offside because Danny Hilton was in an offside position. It's a tough loss, but I thought the performance was there. We just kept making silly mistakes in the attacking third. And obviously, Charlton counter-attacked our mistakes. And as you can see, they did score two goals in two minutes. It's... It's that simple, really. So that defeat has left us back in those relegation places. We are currently 22nd in the league. I'm still keeping them positive. Birmingham are currently 18th in the league, and we're only five points away from them. We've got some tough fixtures coming up, but also some good fixtures as well. We just need to grind out points against certain teams, and hopefully we can do that. We've got two back-to-back -back home games coming up as well. We've got 12 games left to stay up in the championship. I believe we can do it. I'm going to play another eight games offline just to speed this series along. In the next episode, I will play Barnsley and Huddersfield. Fingers crossed in the next run of fixtures, I can gain some points and obviously climb out of those relegation places in the championship. Like I said at the start of the video, every game I play, I will post the results in the community tab and any other important information I will post in the community tab. So make sure you are checking out my community tab as I will be posting the FM content offline on there. So guys, that is the end of the video. Hopefully you did enjoy it. Drop a like on the video if you did enjoy it. Guys, I'm trying to hit 2,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So it would mean the world to me if you guys can subscribe to the channel. Comment down below your thoughts about today's episode. Don't forget to follow me across all my social media if you haven't done already. And I'll see you guys in the next video.